G'day everyone and welcome to another Star Wars review. Um, next up for you I'm going to give you a look at Han Solo's blaster. If you may remember yesterday I did do a review on this and it was an awful looking orange blaster but um, I've been doing a bit of work on it and as you can see it looks way better now. I just um, picked up some black and silver paint from the local games work workshop. Um, just picked up um, this paint here. It's called um, Chaos Black, and some Mithril Silver. And um, as you can see, it um, looks a hundred times better. I left um, the grip grey, which it was originally, and I also left this part here grey, but all the orange I completely got rid of it, painted it black. I also um, touched up some of the silver scuffing marks with more silver paint, so it definitely looks even better now than it did before, even the scuff marks. And it uh, sounds, uh, it's all in my head, but I think it sounds better now too. <laughs> so before I gave it a rating of 3 out of 10, but now that it's all in a much more authentic looking colour, oh geez, easy, easy an 8 out of 10. If the sound effects had been a little uh, better, you know, we might as well get a, a 10 really. But um, I'm really, really happy with it now. And, uh, you know, it's the way it should have been originally released. Not in that awful orange. But, uh, thanks for me, mate, um, Evil Corbin Dallas, for giving me some uh, tips and inspiration to get this thing done. Pretty much it only took one coat and a little bit of touching up once it had dried um, to get it looking like that. And it took me a few hours, you know, but it was quite fun to do it really. It wasn't uh, a chore at all. There you go, it's the um, Han Solo Blaster. Very similar to Luke Skywalker's one of course as well. So yeah, I might have to get a, another one of these. So I, I hope you've really enjoyed looking at my repainted Han Solo Blaster. So until my next review, may the force be with you.